Novec 2020, question number 9a. The radius of a spherical balloon is increasing at the rate of 3 cm per second. So, uh, 9a. Now, we are going to the radius of a spherical balloon is increasing. So, that is the r dt. This is equal to 3 cm per second. Now, the reason we should find the rate of increase in the surface area. So, we want to find the A, the T. We want to find it the surface area of the balloon when the radius is 10. So, our radius is giving us 10. Now, what is the area of a sphere? It's giving us 4 pi r squared. Now, let's find out the A, the R. So, the A, the R. When you differentiate this, what are we getting? We get 8 pi r. Now, what do we want to find? We want to find the A, the T. So, we use the chain rule, the A, the T. Now, this is the same as, that is the A, the R, times the R, the T, applying the chain group. Now what is the A, the R? The A, the R is giving us 8 pi R. Now what is the R, the T? It was given to us as 3. Now what is um, pi? Our uh, pi is 22 over 7. So this is the same as now 3 times 8. We have 24 pi R. Now what is our R. Our R is giving us 10 in the question, and this time that, that will be 240 pi. And from here, we can leave our answer this way, or pi is 22 over 7, so we have 240 times 22 all over 7. And when we do this, we are getting that is 754.2857. And this will be approximately, that is 754.30 centimeter square per second. Very, very easy. Make sure that you subscribe. We have a lot of videos to help you pass your exams with ease. Now let's consider the second, the B part. Elective mass of deck 2020, question number 9B. A function f is defined on a set of real numbers by, so we have... Um, uh, f of x to be equal to px squared plus qx plus 2, where p and q are constant. If f of negative 2 is 10, so f of negative 2 is 10. Now, here, wherever we see s, we put negative 2 over there. Plus 2 equal to 10, because x for negative 2. Now this will give us that is 4p. Now what do we have here? We have negative 2 k plus 2 equal to 10. Now let's give like 10. So you have 4p minus 2 k equal to 10 minus 2. So you have 4p minus 2 k equal to 8. 10 minus 2, that is 8. We can divide through by 2. So when you divide here by 2, you get 2p minus k equal to 4 equation 1. That is 4 divided by 2 gives us to 2 divided by 2, that's 1. 8 divided by 2, so we have 4. So that is our equation 1. Now what again were we given? f of 1 is 13. We're given that f of 1 is equal to 13. So wherever we see x, we put 1 over there. So you have 1 square plus k1 plus 2 equal to 13. And this will go here, so you have p plus k equal to 11. Equation 2. Why 11? Because 13 minus 2 is giving us 11. Now, we can add 1 and 2 so that we can eliminate the Q. So, equation 1 plus equation 2. When you add, now, 2P plus P, that will be 3P. Negative Q plus Q, that is 0. 4 plus 11, that is 15. So, clearly dividing through by what is multiplying the p, which is 3, therefore, our p is 5. When you divide through, our p will be 5. Now, 
put p equal to 5 into any of them probably equation 2 or equation 1 any of them our p is 5 so we have 5 plus q equal to 11 clearly q is 11 minus 5 and this is 6 hence our f of x our f of x what is our f of x that is px squared plus qx plus 2 so p what is our p5 so we have 5x squared plus q q is 6 so qx plus 2 now the question says that we should find the ii is saying that we should find f of negative 3 so if f of x is this f of negative 3 so we have 5 negative 3 squared plus 6 negative 3 plus 2 and when you calculate this, this is just equal to 29 very very interesting very trivial make sure that you subscribe